This question is from gate mechanical engineering of 2019. This is question number 11 of set 1. The question is a slender rod of length L diameter D where L is much greater than that of D. That means the length is much greater than that of the diameter and the thermal conductivity K1 is joined with another rod of identical dimensions but the thermal conductivity of that rod is K2. To form a composite cylindrical rod of length 2L, the heat transfer in radial direction and contact resistance are negligible. The effective thermal conductivity of the composite rod is. So this problem can be solved using the Fourier law of heat transfer. So let's understand the Fourier law of heat transfer here. Now according to the Fourier law of heat conduction, Q, the heat flow, let's write Q here heat flow. Now suppose this is a slab, the left surface temperature is T1 and the right surface temperature is T2 and it is varying inside the slab as well. So the heat flow or heat conduction I can say can be written as K the thermal conductivity of this material into area the cross sectional surface area or, the, or simply the cross sectional area into T1 minus T2 divided by L. L is the length of the slab or I can say the width of the slab and this is also equal to delta T by conductive resistance R conductive. So the conductive resistance is given by L upon Ka and uh, if I make a resistance diagram of the same the, from the analogy of Ohm's law the resistance diagram I can draw something like this. So this is T1 temperature, this is T2, the end of the wall temperature and the heat flowing. So the heat flow can be represented like this and this is the conductive resistance. Now we are given a similar kind of condition or uh, I can say the configuration something like this. So according to the given configuration there are two rods of length L each. Right, so from here to here it is L and from here to here as well this is length L and the diameter is let's say it is D, small d, it's given the diameter. The thermal conductivity of this side of the rod, let's say it is K1 and K2, it's given in the problem and here is the interface. So in the problem it's given that the contact resistance is negligible as well as the heat transfer in radial direction is also negligible. So according to the problem, this radial direction heat flow is also equivalent to zero. It's negligible. Now let's express this bar in equivalent thermal circuit. So we can draw the equivalent thermal circuit of this bar as, so T1, it's the initial temperature T1. And we have the resistance, thermal re resistance. And this is the interface. And this is the end temperature T. So this point here is the interface. Since the thermal conductivity of this material, this side of the material is K1. So the resistance we can write R1 is equal to L upon K1 into A, the cross sectional area. And this R2 will be equal to L upon K2A because thermal conductivity is K2. The, and also we will write Q dot that is the heat flow rate. Now the heat transfer rate can be written as Q means conduction is equal to T1 minus T2 divided by the equivalent resistance so that will be R1 plus R2 and that is R1 plus R2 is L upon K1A plus L upon K2A and this can be written as so if you multiply it Take the LCM and multiply it so we will get K1 into K2 divided by K1 plus K2 into L upon A into delta T. Here delta T is T1 minus T2. Now let this be equation number 1. Now the configuration of the now we have to replace the composite bar by a bar of length 2L. Okay. Uh, and the area A and conductivity K equivalent. 
Now the thermal conductivity of this wall is K equivalent and the length is 2L. So the heat transfer rate in this bar can be written as Q dot let's write conductive is equal to K equivalent into area into T1 minus T2 that is delta T divided by 2L. Now according to the question the heat transfer through both the bars must be same. So let's say this is second case so heat transfer rate 2 and this be heat transfer rate 1. Okay, So this must be same. So from equation 1 and 2 we can write K1 into K2 by K1 plus K2 into A by L into delta T should be equal to K equivalent into area to into delta T by 2L. Now in this equation we can cancel out A, L also we can cancel out here, delta T also we can cancel. So this K equivalent from here we can write 2 times of K1 into K2 by K1 plus K2. So this is the required answer. Now let's go back to the problem and match with the options given. So we can see here option D is the correct choice. To get more information on Fourier's law of heat conduction, you can follow the NPTEL lecture number 08 of 1D steady state heat conduction in cylindrical geometry on conduction and convection heat transfer by Professor S.K. Som of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Kharagpur. Hopefully I was able to solve your doubt. Have a great day.